just made my way to the center of Oslo and I found this thing making a lot of noise and I noticed that um, the big padlock is on there and um, it clearly says hazard so I'm gonna stay away guys um, I found this place in Oslo and it looks quite different from um, the other parts I've seen so far so I thought I'll take you around um, it looks a bit like Oxford Circus, Oxford Street um, but I'll let you guys um, make that judgment the weather is actually better in centre which is quite strange like it's really really warm um, let's use the um, zebra crossing to cross I think I'm gonna get better before I go to the UK because um, my sore throat is still there but I'm just hoping the warm weather warms it up heals it up and um, I'm good to go next week um, when I mean good to go next week I mean I start talking normal I know you might not really notice from um, from the video but my throat is really sore anyways um, so this is how the center looks like but this is not the main place though um, there's still the area that has um, the opera house if I've got time if I've got time I'll go there I'll go there today if I don't have time I'll go there tomorrow um, where the opera house is is where a lot of people hang out um, they also have like um, a part where there's like water and people just literally like sit down and chill um, this road is a really long one though so it, it took me like um, about half an hour actually to walk all the way up the hill so it's going to take a bit of time to walk all the way down as well I thought it would be nice to show you this area because um, I don't think I've ever seen this area in any, in any of the videos I've seen about Oslo so um, what I had to do when I got here I was to get a drink um, the weather is actually really hot in this area which is <laughs> which is strange um, never thought I'll be this hot so so I think the weather is just um, one of them ones whereby you can tell if it's going to be hot or cold at any moment so you're yeah, better off just having a jacket on you uh, just to be careful obviously you don't want to get sick um, like me actually <laughs> I've not tried Norwegian food how do you think it tastes like um, I think I would have Norwegian food for dinner I must do I've done a bit of research to find out how Norwegian food tastes a lot of people have said it's bland they don't like spicy food in Norway it will be one of the worst experiences ever I don't know I don't know but um, I'll try to find out tonight um, if there are any Norwegians watching this yeah tell me tell me what to eat in Norway tell me what the um, the Norwegian national dish is that's what I want to know the Norwegian national dish do you have some special type of chicken? <laughs> do you have some special type of lamb? do you have a Norwegian I don't know do you have some special Norwegian potatoes? because my my hotel di didn't serve me that <laughs> uh, I'm just joking um, but for my Norwegians watching this um, 
please let me know what your your national dish is. Um, for those that don't know me anyway, or for those that are watching for the first time, because that's very possible. What I like to do is, when I go to a certain country, I like to taste the local dish because if you don't taste the local dish it means you've not been to that country that's how I feel so I need to have Norwegian food by force <laughs> before I leave Norway so I could feel like a Norwegian basically so for my new subscribers because I know some people, actually a lot of people subscribed this summer, I did notice. For those that are new, let me tell you a bit about myself, yeah? So, um, I started this YouTube channel sometime last year with hardly any subscribers. Um, I've been to a number of countries. Um, I've experienced a lot of things. I've changed people's perspective of certain people or of certain countries. I've made people start catching flights to certain countries that they would never ever go to. So, make sure you keep watching my videos there's a lot to learn also i don't plan anything so i'm not one of them ones that plan so no surprises enough talking anyway so let's keep going so just looking around what they have um, because we're in Europe, it's the usual jazz. But the only thing I find different is 7-Eleven. I can't recollect seeing a 7-Eleven in the UK though. But I might be, I might be wrong. There might be some, but I just don't pay attention to it. But, um, I have not seen a 7-Eleven. The only thing I've seen in the UK is a Coscotta. Coscotta and um, offline, off offline senses. Apologies, my voice is not there yet. Um, for those that don't know, I've got a sore throat. So I'm still trying to heal. Okay, um, this road is a long road, like I said. And it's, and it's very quiet. It feels like it's only me talking. Probably not, but it feels like it. So, if you look at the buildings, the architecture is really nice, isn't it? I think this is one of the best times to come to, um, to Oslo. Because I don't know, I don't know if there's a peak time to come to Oslo actually. Because I don't know if a lot of people come to Oslo. So, I don't know if maybe in April, May, there are a lot of people around. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Because I can't just tell. Maybe I'll, I'll speak to somebody in tourism when I get to the Opera House area. Just to find out if there's like a peak time. But I like this period anyway because the weather is okay. But some of these countries that are usually very cold. During summer, their summers are very hot. So apparently like in Russia, their summer is really hot. So I'm not looking. <laughs> 
I'm not looking to go to a country that is very hot. At the moment, anyway. Um, it's okay for it to be hot, but not like boiling hot. You know what I mean? The bad thing about the bad thing about Oslo is you can't even find like a place to like buy things on the road on the roadside. Like when you go to certain countries, at least you could see people like selling stuff. But um, the standards in Norway is really high. No one is messing around. I can't see anyone selling stuff. It might be different when I get to um, the Opera House area because I suppose there'll be more tourists in that area. So you might see the normal scammers and people like that. Or you might not see them. I'm just speculating. Because this is Norway, so things might be done differently. Who knows? Who knows? So you see how orderly Norway is. Although I've seen police around, I've not seen any police with a weapon. And I've not seen too many police gathering around an area. So Norway might just be a safe country. Actually, it is a safe country because I did read the, um, the stats on crime. And I think <laughs> it was about not 0.3% which means it it does exist but not that much okay so we do have a place where they sell um flowers on that side at least they're selling stuff they're a shopping center Oh yeah, it is. Okay. I say I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna lose a lot of weight today. Due to the sun. This is proper cardio. I'm taking, I'm taking cardio to the next level. On the streets of Oslo. And you see the way they are. Like the Norwegians, like, that's why I like them. They just mind their business. No one cares. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is the sort of place that you can take your time, record, You can literally even sit on the road if you want. Get a chair, sit on the road. Get your camera out and just record everyone going back and forth. And no one cares. No one is going to bother you at all. So you can hear that music, yeah? The way, so you know, like one of them ones that play music on um, on a motorcycle. You get that in central London, and when you hear them playing that music in central London, it's too loud, like proper loud. But in Norway, it's not loud. They must have um, noise pollution rules that are very strong. Most countries do have them, but I think the Norwegian one is quite strict. Cause man, I feel like I'm the loudest on the road. No one is talking. 
<laughs> no one is talking on the road. I feel like I'm, I'm the loudest. So, um, if you want to visit Oslo, not Norway, because Norway is big, yeah, so let's say Oslo. If you want to visit Oslo, I would say spend two days maximum and go. There's really not a lot to do. Two days and say bye. Because you can literally finish the whole of Oslo if you really want to. Like, if you're that dedicated though, and you wake up like six in the morning, and you go to bed at, let's say, one in the morning, you can do more than half of Oslo on that first day and finish the rest the following day. But if you want to explore Norway, Norway is big. I would say big, big like that, but like big in the sense that you would need a bit more time. Obviously, you can't spend two days exploring the whole Norway. You would need a bit more time. So I would say to explore the whole Norway, um, you need about it depends on what part though so there are certain parts that are known for like mountain climbing and things like that so it depends on what you want to do so there's a place called Bergen and I heard Bergen is quite good people spend like a week or two so maybe that's a place to explore um, it is one place I thought about going to but I don't have enough time so that's not a place I'll be going to anytime soon however in the future I might take that into consideration it looks like there's more to do okay let's go that way actually um, so yeah so maybe Bergen two weeks I don't know any other path that might be interesting to go to but I suppose for my Norwegian viewers you could stick in places to visit yeah, It looks like there's a, a lot more places to explore Let's check it out but sometimes I live in a particular area and I miss out all the good parts. There's one particular video in Berno. Someone said I decided to go back when I was approaching the bad area. And I felt bad because I actually wanted to go to the bad area. I like seeing the bad areas too. It's not all about the good areas. Okay. Well, you, I, I don't think there's any bad area in Norway anyway. I forgot to say that Norway is um, Norway is um, is a place that everywhere looks literally posh. Everything looks properly done. Okay, so I think that's it for this area, you know. Looks like they have some restaurants around. Is that like an Indian restaurant? I want Norwegian food. I've not seen any. Um, any sign that says Norwegian food yet in the restaurant. Okay. 
I've not seen any sign that says Norwegian yet. But once I see a Norwegian restaurant, I'm definitely going in. Hopefully I, hopefully I see one today. Um, I'll check online anyway, because that's what my, <laughs> that's what my subscribers will start saying. They'll be like, don't you have Google? Don't you have Google? Can't you check? That's what they always say. So yes, I do have Google. So I'll check. Um, okay. Who's there? Okay. I think I've had enough. So I'm going to end this particular video here. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.